It's the holiday season, and that means we're going to grandmother's house, over the river and through the woods. But grandma doesn't have a crib. So we're going to ask the question, which travel crib does my baby really need? This is where I take my work naps. This is the Lotus Travel Crib from Guava Family. It retails for around $189 on the Guava Family website and around $200 on Amazon. And it comes with a mattress as well as a compact carrying case that doubles as a backpack. The Lotus is extremely easy to set up. The Guava people claim you can do it in 15 seconds. The unique thing about this travel crib is it features a side zipper, which allows you access to your newborn for late night feedings or just to play and have a good time. The Lotus is only 13 pounds. The Guava family actually claims that their cribs are the only ones that you can fit into backpacks in the world. In the entire world. Here's what I like about the Lotus. First off, it's super lightweight and the backpack thing just can't be beat. If you are a parent who is taking a baby on an airplane, this is a huge plus. This fits into an overhead storage bin. The Lotus also comes with a variety of accessories, a sunshade, and some attachments that turn it into a bassinet. If you're getting an upscale crib, here's the kicker with the Lotus. It's almost identical to the Baby Bjorn, except it's cheaper. So what's bad about the Lotus? Well, here's one dirty little secret. It retails for 189 or around $200 on Amazon, but you need to get a custom sheet that fits the mattress. And that custom sheet is gonna run you another $40. The Lotus can fit in a backpack, and so can the mattress, which means it's gonna be pretty thin. For a newborn, that probably won't matter that much, but if your baby is a little bit older, the quality of this mattress might be an issue. You know, I'm no scientist, but I would say this is about the thickness of a saltine. This is the Graco Pack and Play. It retails for about $46 on Amazon and about $54 on the Graco website. This is the classic Pack and Play. Chances are if someone has bought you a Pack and Play or you've seen a Pack and Play, this is the one. The Graco Pack and Play weighs about 23 pounds. It comes with two wheels and features the signature push button for easy breakdown. This pack and play is also a chameleon of sorts. It can multitask as a bed or an activity center for your newborn and comes with all sorts of accessories which you can buy separately. The pros for the Graco pack and play are pretty obvious. It's price. If you are looking for a pack and play and you want it to be cheap, this is the way to go. Obviously, it's super simple to set up and to break down and the wheels allow it mobility. So if you want to take it outside or if you want to wheel it from room to room, you can. So what could possibly be bad about the OG of pack and plays? Because even though it's cheap, it's also super heavy. And the other big negative about the Graco pack and play is it doesn't come in any sort of a carrier of any kind. It wraps up in its own mattress, but the pack and play slides right out of the mattress and you essentially have to hold the whole thing anyway. The other thing is these wheels. What's really the function of these wheels? This thing isn't gonna fit through a doorway unless it's super wide. The function of the wheels seems a little suspect to me. This is the Baby Bjorn Travel Crib. It weighs about 13 pounds, comes in a luggage style suitcase and retails for about $300 on Amazon and on the Baby Bjorn website. It's machine washable, comes with a very comfy mattress and features a base plate in the bottom of the crib that holds it secure and steady. The Baby Bjorn comes with a fitted sheet, but you can use any sheet you'd like and it connects in these four different places. No snaps necessary, just these simple hook attachments. What's great about the Baby Bjorn Travel Crib? The mattress is the star of the show. This is by far the most comfortable travel crib that we have reviewed today. So the Baby Bjorn is super comfortable, but it also features less setup time than the Lotus. Super easy to unlock, spring it open, and just go. What's bad about the Baby Bjorn? I mean, not much. Really, the only thing is the price point. This retails for about $300. So if you're gonna pay that much, you probably want a couple extra features, and this is pretty simple. The Baby Bjorn also comes specifically in a suitcase, which means that one of your hands is gonna be occupied, and it doesn't quite fit into most storage head bins. So if you're doing any sort of air travel, you're gonna to have to check the Baby Bjorn at the gate. And so let's ask ourselves the question, which travel crib does my baby really need? I'm going with the Lotus by Guava Family. It is the only 
one of these cribs that actually fits in a backpack, a receptacle that I would want to carry around. The Lotus is what it says it is, a travel crib. You can get in an airplane with your baby and have a crib ready to go when you get to your destination. It's also basically the same price as the Baby Bjorn, so why wouldn't you get the one that's easier to travel with? Thanks so much for watching Does My Baby Really Need This? If you like this video and you want more great fatherly content, click the subscribe button below. And if you have a product that you want us to review, throw it in the comments. Have a happy, safe holidays and good luck traveling with your baby. If you need me, I'll be here sleeping. Okay, so uh, who's gonna help me out?